Planter Project Video 3. We are making progress on the toolbar and CCS configuration, adding steps, platforms, and laying out the tanks. Without specialized equipment, progress is slow. Just going through some parts here that came in from John Deere. Everything's a little slow to trickle in uh, due to some staffing issues. But we'll go through the part numbers, and because you don't remember what little tiny part number went where, uh, especially when you start looking at a lot of little hardware stuff. But how we do the this project or any project for fact is I, I figure out what I need and what it went to. So, for example, here's a generator bracket for a 9R tractor. And I'll print out the schematic, and obviously it'll give you all the part numbers and, and directional arrows so you know how the hardware goes. I'm a big stickler to make sure that everything's in the right position and uh, the proper hardware is in the right place, as if it would be uh, factory. The dealer did start going to a uh, portal so you can order your parts online because they've actually had so many problems down there. And uh, then they'll make you up a list here or whatever, and you can see your quantities and your prices. They're ridiculous prices. Now when I order stuff, I make up stuff like this. I go in and I look up the part number, I write down the quantity in parentheses, part number, and what it is. Essentially, I'm doing their job for them. Uh, the ironic part of this particular time, and times a few times before, is you'll take this down and you say, hey, I need this list, pretty cut and dry. But what they end up doing is take the list and back, give it to a junior member who never orders a damn thing, throws the list in a big pile of papers, then you have to personally get under and find your own list, then they're baffled as to what was ordered or may not have been ordered, or if the guy did his job or did not do his job. And then you'll start getting double triples of the order and you gotta go in and audit your tickets that you get um, like a second or a third time. So basically you do their job for them three times. Hopefully the online portal helps with that. Okay, both tanks are mounted. The stairway is coming down the front. We got it uh, down and out flat where there'll be a double platform and we gotta make the base yet. And the whole idea here is to make this assembly removable. So these steps will have to be unboltable. We have two bolts here and in the back. We have our legs coming down with two bolts. So bolts, bolts, and bolts, and the whole unit can come up and off. As well as the 1745 platform, which slides in and bolts and bolts through the holes in the platform that were provided by John Deere. Again, removable. On the bigger planters, they basically use the same back bar as I did, kind of that's how I modeled it to kind of keep this thing looking like a John Deere. But they would have only used one front stand as this would be a continuous uh, bar clear through where I had to fabricate the bar together. And this one stand would have been in the middle, so it would have been two in the back, one in the front like a tricycle. Now I'd like to have done that, but I noticed that the continuous line welded it as well as welds underneath on both sides. Now to get the tank out of here is not the end of the earth. But to uh, get this beads cut out, you had to cut this out and replace the whole bar from here. Then cut through and go on through, maybe. Or we would have had to uh, try to cut this loose and replace. There's not a lot to these frames here in context of design. But when you go to hack up uh, somebody else's work and redo it, uh, it becomes a bit of a challenge. So. We just went ahead and used both legs, uh, which is the way it came. Although I maintain I would have liked the, the looks of it better, having just one in the middle. But I do not have the ability to copy this in a new pattern. They don't just sell pieces, they sell the whole assembly as it is now, um, or nothing. So that's why I went with two legs and two in the back. But yes, I would have rather made it look like a CCS unit on a bigger planter, which again would have been one in the front, two in the back. <clears throat> and yes, on the bigger planters, they also use the two by four in the back. This video was put together over several days into weeks. So there was a fair amount of progression as I took photos throughout the different working days highlighting some of the things we've done, uh, including what you're seeing here was building the rear platform uh, frame and toe kick, which will house handrails and 
there you're seeing those 2 by 4 supports for the CCS tanks. And here's from the uh, front when I was working on hand railings and the frame modifications. And before anybody gets snippy about the frame, the 7x7 seven seven main frame toolbar and the end markers would be identical to what's used on a 1735 three-point mount, which only uses the 7x7 seven seven box tube. And you can see that planter in the uh, picture in picture. Many of the brackets, hand railings, and everything else I've had to design and build myself. Parts are trickling in. I'm trying to use as many John Deere parts as possible or build them to look like John Deere parts to keep the planter as original and nice looking as possible. With limited tooling and building from a platform that was already designed, just modifying it to fit our needs definitely poses challenges. Some of the things I would like to do uh, are just not able to do due to the nature and design of the, of the way it was built from the get-go. But I'm doing my best. I'm using John Deere components to keep it looking like something possibly John Deere would have built. However, I'm sure theirs would have been much neater. And yes, there would have been other ways to have done this project, and that's fine if you want to do it that way. When you build yours, go right ahead to make videos of it, and I'll critique your videos. For the ones that enjoy the project, thanks for watching. More coming.